So this is a antique Chinese cabinet that was donated to me. And here's some shots of what it looked like when I received it. Uh, it had been sanded by the previous owners a bit, I think, to get some of the, I don't know, kids graffiti off of it or something. Anyways, I didn't do much to it. It was in good shape. Uh, I sanded it, didn't use any chemical strippers at all, just a lot of sanding. Then burning, and then more sanding, and a very light, light coat of uh, stain, Ipwich Pine stain again. You can see this, the actual steps, I didn't put them here, I wanted to keep the video short, but you can see more of the steps in uh, another piece of furniture I did, I'll leave the link in the description below. Anyways, it came out pretty good. There's uh, about 10 coats of clear coat on the body of it and about 15 coats on the top. It's a Verathane uh, diamond coat semi-gloss finish. All these uh, splits in the wood here and here, they're all man-made splits and gouges. I made them just to give it a bit of a more antiquish look. Same as on the metal bits, I added the rust here and here. Well, some fake rust. I showed, I was showing a bit about how to do this in my other video as well. Down on these ones as well, fake rust. And these are all fake wormholes that I made with a Dremel tool, here and here and here. More gouges. I dug those, mostly with a Dremel tool as well. Here's a look of the drawers in the locked position. So it all kind of matches my the other furniture that I made and I finished. Anyway, I was pretty happy with the result. That's it.